Alrighty guys, quick prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this day. Thank you so much for the ability to have this food, Lord God, to be able to keep my body somewhat healthy from the way that I am just putting the right things in it, Lord God. May you allow for me to continue to put the right things in it so that I may heal, that I may grow, that I may become stronger, Lord God. Thank you so much for my body, for my health, for my strength, Lord God. I pray that you allow for me to keep these things so that I may be a better servant towards you, to you, Lord God. I pray that you will just Allow for me to remain strong, that you will heal my body of all ailments, and allow for me to just work every day towards being stronger physically. Um, I'm grateful for this opportunity once more, and I pray that there are many more in the future. May I allow for this video to just help other people to see how my progress towards living a healthier life, and hopefully it'll reach out to someone else's heart that they may reach a healthier life for God. Um, I pray that you are always in it. And I pray that you are always working through these videos, Lord God. Thank you so much. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So, the thing that I have been making recently is um, this OJ Greek yogurt spinach shake. So, let's get after it. I need to get the OJ. I've never drank this much orange juice in my life. I've never really been an orange juice guy. But, things change. Rearrange. You love and learn. So, we put in about two cups here. I'm so happy that the Ninja Blender has like a little measurement thing on there. So I put about two cups. I'm gonna need to get more orange juice now. Then, so we'll just put, uh, no, we'll keep it down here. Then I have my handy dandy scale here with a premium bowl. This is frozen spinach. I put about 40 grams. I'm going to put try and put 50 grams of spinach today. See if I can. It's so hard because spinach is so light. So I think this scale specifically has some trouble. I kind of got 40 grams down, but like that's 40 grams. I already knew it before even seeing it on the scale. Let's see. That's 50 grams. Wow. Almost. I can almost grab 10 grams without even thinking. There. That is 50 whole grams of spinach. Interesting. Okay, here we go. If I can get it all inside the actual container here. I feel like this gives me a good amount of energy. Oh, and then we do about 200 grams of this non-fat Greek yogurt. I'm pretty good again with getting the exact measurement here. There. So this is all natural non-fat Greek stringed yogurt, 0% milk fat from Faye. Look at baby cat, baby cat's just up in the business today. So that's good. No. Oh. Then, boom, just like that. Wow, that was awesome. It came out all at once. Then, let's see. Ugh, I messed that up. I messed that up. It's going to get a little messy in here. I mean, of course, it's going to get messy. It's a blender, but messier than need be, I guess I should say. Okay, ah, making a mess, ah, making a mess. So, let's see, where is the little arrow guy? There we go, boom, bam, bing. Why does it want to go? Oh, maybe I have to. Okay, now I'm lost. I'm officially lost as to why it doesn't want to go. Hmm. Ah, the one time I record, it doesn't want to go. Oh, that's why.
Now, you need to get a little cup guy. Let's see. Which cup do I want to drink out of? I'll do it out of this one. That way I can. So I'm going to use this cup. That way I can get all of it. Ooh. Okay, well, there you go. Made my shake. And I'm going to drink it, put all the stuff back, and then we're going to get after it, go to the gym, hit some legs. Okay, made it in the dungeon. I'm going to start with the squat. But legs are kind of tight from yesterday, so I'm just going to sit here for a second. I've really been working towards is getting that real deep uh, in the squat. Just working on depth. So I'm wearing my little wedge shoes here. Hopefully it helps.
already. I'm gonna be stupid. And try and lift up some of these bags and put it on my shoulder. We'll see. We'll start with 200 and we'll move up according to if I can do it or not. Okay. All right, this is gonna be the last attempt of the day. 300 pound bag. Let's do it. Let's try it. For anybody who thinks putting away place is the worst thing ever, this 300 pound bag of sand is just disgusting to put away. It, it's heavy and it, it, I wish I could just describe it to you. If you have a sandbag, try it.
so at the Arnold, I had the ability to see Cerberus in person and get the, uh, hopefully the right size straps, the figure eight straps. I've been wanting these for a while, so I'm going to be using these for my RDLs. I'm really just working on getting the posterior chain just locked in tight so then I can have a lot of confidence in all the lifts that I do from the legs up rather than from the shoulders down. So legs just need to be rock solid, hamstrings need to be rock solid, posterior chain needs to be rock solid. Uh, I feel like my hamstrings are pretty warmed up from doing the sandbag enough, so we're just going to go straight to 225 and see how it rolls. Alrighty, let's do it. I guess I can put the uh, earphone or the microphone back at this time because nothing's really hitting my chin right now in my head. Here we go! Leggy! These straps do make me feel like I'm locked in. I really like the hat. It's starting to feel a little lightheaded. I think it's from dehydration and a lot of caffeine intake making me a little bit hydrated. So, I got my caged hydrocharge hydration drink. And then I also have water, but sometimes it's fun to have something that tastes good. One scoop. Have you ever put the wrong lid on the wrong thing? I do that all the time. I already have that. Let's do it. Hello mix. Shameless plug. Alrighty. You know, this is a call out to Apple. You need to make bigger wrist wraps or the bands because I am unable to train heavy using my wraps while also wearing the Apple Watch Ultra. How is it that ultra if I can't lift strong strongman stuff or do any heavy weight lifting? Not very ultra to me if you think about it. But that's something that can be improved rather easily. I might just have to duct tape it next time. Alrighty. Explosive. Be strong. How many calories is that? Couldn't tell you. Alrighty. Let's see how stupid I can get. I don't even know if I have the hip mobility to do this movement here. I don't know if I have the mobility to do this. But we're gonna try it. Do I have the mobility? Not yet. Okay, that's enough for the day. Already, we have reached 
pretty much the end of the lift today for at least this this leg day. We're getting back into a different variation of training, trying to do the strongman training. So I'm only going to be doing what I did because the sandbag is pretty heavy and it really taxed my body. So I want to make sure that I'm staying healthy and safe. Um, we're going to go home, eat some protein, get some stretches done, and really just work on making sure that we get the recovery part right now. Because previously I just haven't really cared about the recovery part. Kind of just let it be lackadaisical and just rely on my youth to heal. And I think that's just naive at this point in my lifting journey. So go home, roll out, use the Theragun, get the lactic acid out, and eat. Um, also get a good night's sleep, hopefully tonight. Yeah, already. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you like this style of content more. The strongman stuff is something I'm probably going to start really pushing into, as well as doing some running. But I'm not going to really record the running. I'm not Davy Goggins, so... I'll take a picture and post it on social media of my times just to stay accountable. Alrighty, guys. Pray hard. Eat protein. Sleep well. Drink and hydrate with water. See you later. Have a great day.